guys welcome to my channel my name is Jo Ashley and this is my channel the makeup enthusiast today's video is so exciting I went to Sephora and never would I think that my tiny little Sephora inside JCPenney would have the whole Fenty Beauty by Rihanna line I was giddy like when I tell you I was giddy the girl at Sephora told me I felt the exact same way and I was like oh. I was so excited when I saw it. Um, I only bought the foundation because I'm not about to go spend $300 on makeup when I've already bought enough this summer. I will go back, go back for some products, but for right now, I'm just trying out the foundation. And it's good, guys. It's good. So if you guys want to see my first impressions, thoughts, me applying it in a mini tutorial on this, not really. I just applied it and talked. Please keep watching. Bye. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you hear my son in the background, it's because he is watching Life with Pets and he finds that movie to be the most hilarious thing in the world. I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty um, by Rihanna, their foundation. This is, the, this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I love her packaging. It feels really heavy. It comes in a tube like this. Very classy, very chic, minimal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, it's soft to touch. If you've ever owned a Chanel foundation, it literally feels heavy like it. And the touch for it, it feels the same. So it's very similar in that aspect. It does not feel cheap. So um, this is what it looks like right now. I just have my eyebrows done and I use my Benefit brow products. I don't have anything else in my face. I'm gonna apply this foundation and prep and prime my face how I would wear any foundation. Just to be sure, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face and then prime it with this. For my moisturizer, I'm gonna use my Clinique Moisture Surge. I am then gonna use a primer. Okay, it says to shake it really well before you apply it, so. And I would think so because I did play with it in the store and this thing dries so fast guys. I would recommend to do half of your face at a time because I was with my kid at Sephora without a stroller so that means that I was after him and I put it on, he went to touch something so I ran after him and then I was like, oh crap, I have foundation. Nothing went on. It completely dried super fast. I have it on right here. I do have a sponge. The sponge feels like a mixture of the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques sponge. Supposedly it's really good, but I like my Beauty Blender. I have the Real Techniques. I feel like I don't need an extra sponge. Sorry, my nails look hideous. I'm telling you I wasn't planning on doing a video until I got my nails done. It oxidizes a little bit, so I feel like once it does, it'll match my skin perfectly. Oh my gosh, this is already drying. It feels so dry that I don't feel like I need to set it. Like it doesn't feel sticky how foundations usually feel. I'm gonna do my other side with the sponge. I feel like with the sponge, it takes more away. It takes more away so it's giving you even less coverage. But I do feel like this is my shade. See, like, you can see my redness right here, and then with the brush, you really can't see that on this side. Like, it takes product away, so I do feel that the very best way to apply this foundation would be with um, a synthetic brush. I have to be fast with this, even though I know I said to only apply it to half of your face first because it dries fast. I'm being daring right now. Yeah, it's drying. Don't do that. Don't, don't, um, don't attempt to do what I just did because it, it is drying. Like, if you have dry skin, you can make it work by applying extra, um, moisturizer and, um, Primer.
Guys, I want you to take a look at this. Usually when I wear any foundation, high end, lower end, it usually sets in my fine lines right here. And it's just, it's something that happens. This one hasn't at first when I applied it with the brush and um, I was just applying it. And after I was done applying it, not gonna lie, I was very, I wasn't sold on it. I guess it's because it hadn't set. But now that it's set, I only set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it's where it creases. If I put it on my face, I'll be super dry. So the only thing that I have set is with the the Benefit Luhula Light Bronzer, that area, and then the highlight. Everything else is not set. I absolutely love the way this foundation looks. It looks very smooth. Um, I don't know longevity wise, um, from what I can tell on my arm, Texas the weather is freaking hot. Um, it's still there guys, like I don't know how to, I don't think the camera is going to catch it but I literally slobbered it all over my arm, I put it all over my arm and it's still there. I feel like this foundation it almost dries to a powder feel. It's weird and I have dry skin so that would usually be a deal breaker for me but so far it is not. It looks very, 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 very smooth. I really do like it. I'm going to try wearing it for a week straight but so far so good. Um, I am so surprised that it hasn't set into my fine lines. You can't even see my pores. I usually have very, very big pores like right here. And you really can't see them. If you go back to my other videos and you see my um, when I apply my foundation and then I do the close-up, you'll see my pores. I think it looks really good. I like it. So far, so good. Um, I'm going to take some pictures and see how it looks like there. Well, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and my thoughts on this product. I'm just going to go over them one last time. It retails for $34, comes out to $36 with tax. Um, they have 40 shades. It is a foundation that is supposed to dry matte, and it does. There is no shine as aside from my highlight in my face. Um, it is called the Fenty Beauty. Can you hear my son? Can you hear him? The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Dang, that is a long name. I suggest you apply half of your face first and then the other side and then that side and then that side if you want to do two uh, coats for each side and try to get it as, try to get it, uh, the coverage to be what you desire it to be. In the beginning, once you apply it, it's medium coverage, but you can build it up to me. It doesn't look like a full coverage because you can still, um, see my blemishes and by that I mean that uh, beautiful pimple right there that I got because it's the that time of month uh, anyways you can see that beautiful pimple right there not too much but you know it's there so it doesn't cover it to um, the point where you don't like other foundations like the Becca one or the MAC Pro Longwear one um, it is medium coverage but you can build it up to more than medium coverage but less than full coverage um, it looks really smooth. You really don't have to set this foundation. You, for oily people, I am guessing you do because I am matte. I stay away from it. So if you're oily, you always want to set your face. But as a person that has dry skin, this foundation is doable. You can use it. You just have to moisturize really well, prime really well, and make sure that you don't apply it all at once because it will dry and it will be a mess because then you're just going to be taking it off once you apply more foundation. So just go step by step. Um, it's really, really nice. The highlighters. Um, I did not get the highlighters. I am going to go get the kilowatt or kilowatt or something like that. I found that one of one side of the highlighters is more glittery and the other one is not subtle but it's not as glittery. So if you guys like glittery I um if you guys like gl glittery highlights, I definitely do recommend you get those. The Trophy Wife one, I saw a, a girl with deep skin tone, one with medium skin tone and one a little bit um deeper than mine even though I'm like Casper the Friendly Ghost and they worked it like for deeper skin tones that highlight is absolutely gorgeous medium as well light I was kind of scared because I didn't want it to look like I was wearing like a gold streak of glitter in my face but seeing that girl the one that worked at Sephora I think if you put a light hand it'll be workable um, the foundations the contour sticks formulation wise they were nice nothing out of the ordinary the primer any regular primer didn't feel sticky more like a moisturizer 
but a little bit thicker and um, what was the other thing I did not play with the glitter sticks I did not play with those but the brushes felt good if you're looking for a, a brush a synthetic brush I do recommend those but if you have one I don't recommend you go get one I'm just saying if you are looking for one it's an option the sponge like I mentioned before it feels in between the beauty blender and the real technique sponge right in between really soft I don't know how it feels like wet um, or damped but to the touch it feels really soft not like other sponges from other companies and the blotting papers I did not try them but the foundation um, I have dry skin like I mentioned really 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 dry skin like the Sahara Desert if I don't moisturize I peel like a snake and I hate freaking hate snakes Ugh, I don't even want to talk about that that's how dry my skin in the skin is you saw what I did I applied the moisturizer the primer and it looks really nice it looks really smooth it almost gives you porcelain skin if that makes sense so in my opinion I give it a very very big thumbs up if you are in the market for a foundation, oily or dry or in between, I feel like it'll work for you. You just have to know what is best for you and how to prep your face. So if you want a foundation, go get it. Go get it. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my first impressions and review on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna foundation. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or you like me and my channel, please do like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. First time that I saw him Wonder how many girls he had loved and left haunted But if he's a girl